<laughs> For the meme! All right, boys. Dogecoin, Wall Street bets, all you newbies coming in telling me, how do I mine Dogecoin? How do I mine Dogecoin on my computer? You don't, it's stupid, but for the memes, we're gonna do it, okay? All right, so here's your how to mine Dogecoin. Go and hop in the way back machine. I'm gonna show you how to mine Dogecoin on your CPU. Guess what? You probably won't find any blocks. Probably won't make any Dogecoin. But if you wanna play the bet, play the lotto, make some Doge, you knows? I guess this is the video for you. You ready? All right. So, first things first, you're gonna need a place to exchange Doge. All right, look, here's the deal. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. There's like maybe one exchange that you can pair with USD that you can log on to from the US. All right, also, I don't care if you have your key private keys for Doge. It's Doge. You're gonna mine it, sell it. Mmm. Yeah. So here's the deal. No Coinbase really. You can't really buy Doge over there. You can buy it on a couple other exchanges. You can't do it on crypto.com. So all these are ones that you can like actually get USD out and put it, you know, into your account. So you have to use something else. And this is Yobit. We'll leave a <laughs> I can't even I can't even keep a straight face with you guys so we're gonna use Yobit because you it's legal to use in the US and you can swap the doge for Bitcoin and then send that to you know your crypto.com wallet so sign up for crypto.com down in the description below your goal is going to be mining doge taking a chance Dumping it out and swapping it, selling it here for some Bitcoin or ETH, and then shooting that off to get the money off of it. All right, that's going to be your goal. There's some other options, Bitrix, but you know, there's Binance, but Binance for the U.S. doesn't work, and and uh, Bitrix doesn't work for me anymore because I have a Texas address. So you know, welcome to mining Dogecoin. So first of all, you're just going to go ahead and uh, register for the Yobit. Luckily, like this one's pretty easy because they don't make you confirm any addresses usually. I think maybe they do later, but whatever. I don't know. So you're just going to basically put in all your information to create an account. Go through the, you know, the captchas for Yobit. Cause we need an address i guess those don't count as bicycles do they can't really tell i'm terrible at these yes we did it we got it right um your login should not be less than five symbols so t done never save it all right so now we can go ahead and log in uh what do we use that one that works i'm not a robot log in oh dang we we do have to verify our email account Son of a biscuit. Hold on, let me go verify it real quick. Bam! Done. So you do have to verify I was incorrect. It's been a while. So verify your account, do the captures, get them incorrect like me. I don't know, something like that. Yep, and then watch this video and get your 1700 free dollars. That's a lie, you won't get anything, don't do it. Okay, you do get something, but you gotta sign up for Telegram and. It's not $1,700, okay? All right, listen to me. It's not $1,700. Also, don't keep any crypto in this exchange. <laughs> All right, so next you need to put, you need to get your wallet address. So you're gonna go over here, you need to hit wallets. You can go down to Doge. We're gonna find some Doge here. We're gonna hit that wallet address we need for our sweet, sweet mining. We're gonna open up a notepad here. Just, you know, throw it in a notepad for later. Save it for later. So now we can essentially come into Yobit, ba-bam, and exchange our mined 
Dogecoin, okay? Next thing, the pool. The only pool that you should really be mining to, unfortunately, is a, a Ka pool. I prefer Zerg pool because it's anonymous, but it doesn't work really well, okay? This one actually kind of works for Dogecoin. So there you go. All right, so you have to sign up. I hate signing up for pools. That's why I don't like this pool, but you're gonna click the sign up button, okay? And we're just gonna do a little, a little password and a little usernames, and we'll use the same burner email here. All right, and then you'll pick a four digit pin, click accept, register. This is the one that doesn't allow, doesn't make you uh, do all that ridiculousness, okay? You don't have to verify an email or anything. If you forget your password, you have to recover it that way, but. So we're in our account, you need to go to my workers, and then we need to add a new worker. Uh, we're just gonna use the example, so user. So it's gonna be sodi.user, and our password's gonna be password, okay? Okie doke, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Next thing we're gonna do is download Easy Miner. Link will be down in the description for you guys. So, you know, we're just gonna come in here and download Easy Miner setup. Being careful not to click any of the crazy stuff. You may have to approve it, it may get blocked. I recommend, uh, you know, turning off your antivirus. We're already in a meme coin, so, you know, come in here and turn that off. Easy Miner doesn't usually get flagged though but sometimes the miners that it installs gets flagged. All right, so we're gonna say, yeah, go ahead and download everything. Sure, install it. We're just gonna finish setup. It's gonna start it. And we're gonna say, okay, and enter, accept that terms of license. We're just gonna let it go through and we're just gonna skip and exit this. All right, so here's Easy Miner. And the setup is pretty simple. So you're gonna go ahead and click the setup button and then we are going to come down here clum down here we're going to come down here and click load configuration we're going to highlight the doge example.ini we're going to open it up oh i hate it when it does that skip and exit that again if it opens up again and let's see if it did it yep so now we have our information it loaded in as a cpu miner Make sure it's set to script. Script, this is all correct. The GPU is incorrect. The GPU miner really won't work on the newer drivers for Windows for script. Uh, so you have to load an older AMD and NVIDIA driver to make it work. I don't know exactly which one it is. We have a 6800. This video is purely for CPU mining though at this time. So we're really just worried about these settings right here. So if you remember back over here, at our pool, we created our user and our password. So we are just going to essentially type in our user, which is Sodi dot user. And then our password is password. And then we have our stratum and our port. We're gonna go ahead and save this configuration as Doge. We're gonna save it. Okay, so now everything's set up. You can, you know, if you're on an older one, just copy this stuff over to this, the GPU. And if you're on an older driver, check Bitcoin Talk for whichever driver that needs to be. It'll load it up. I know that the latest AMD drivers won't work. So you can copy it over if you want. Really not a big deal. So once you're done with that, you're just gonna click the X button. It's gonna load you back into here. And then you're gonna click the start mining button. This point, we'll probably get a failure on the GPU. Yep. But we will get the CPU. You'll have to allow it through your firewall. And ta-da! We are now mining Dogecoin. We did it! We did it! We did it! Is that DMCA? Probably. All right, I'll show you guys how to get your, your money out. All right, you ready? So when you guys have been mining long enough, if you ever got lucky enough to get a block if you're logged into uh, a ICA pool. You hit this earnings button right here. Eventually it'll open, it's really slow. And uh, you'll see, we don't, we didn't make anything. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. Well, maybe we'll make something later. All right, so to get your money out, you just wanna hit the edit account button. 
come down here and your payment address is going to be the address we copied to the notepad, remember? From Yobit. We're gonna just paste it in here. You can set the threshold between three and a thousand. Keeping in mind the auto pay will take out two doge fee. So you don't really wanna set it to two. So that would, you lose a lot of doge that way. I recommend just not doing anything as far as auto, just leave it to zero. And then you can scroll down here and it'll tell you what your your Doge account balance is. And when the when you have account balance or whatever, you can just uh, paste, essentially paste your address into here and then type in your four digit pin that you created when you created the account and click the cash out button. At that point, it will appear in your Doge wallet over here. And then you will essentially just go into the trade and then you'll find Doge over here in the market. And then you'll select the Doge and then you'll sell the Doge. So the balance will show up here and you'll click the sell button and you'll sell that Doge. And then you'll take that USD and transfer it to your account if you verified your account. But what I would do is I would pair it with like BTC. Like this. Let's see if we can get C, BTC, and I'd sell it for BTC. And then I'd go back to my wallets and then I'd find my BTC and then I'd withdraw that stuff as fast as I could. <laughs> Hit this withdrawal button and send it to my Coinbase or private wallet or, you know, whatever. So that's it. I feel like we just went back to 2012. Uh, probably more like 2014. Anyways, that's how you mine Dogecoin on a CPU using Easy Miner on Windows 10. Enjoy. I'll see you next Tuesday.